Hello goats, Principal Wilson here. Really important item to talk to you about, the Chelan Way. And thanks for taking the time to listen and hope to hear from you after we're all done. Go goats. All right, hello goats. I'm your principal, Brad Wilson. Just wanna to talk to you a little bit today about the Chelan Way. Last February, before we had to uh, all head home for remote learning, we had our ASB leaders, including our executive officers and the ASB rep from every club and sport, do some work in developing what it meant to have the Chelan Way. What were the ways that all adults and students in our system should behave and aspire to be to be as successful as possible? And what you're looking at were some of the best ideas that came out of that into what we've titled the Chelan Way is being more. That means motivated, open-minded, respectful, and engaged. Um, let's talk first about motivated, right? You've all heard it before, you gotta be motivated, and that's tough. There's intrinsic motivation that comes from inside of you and from you wanting it for yourself. There's extrinsic motivation that comes from you trying to obtain some type of reward or um, concrete item like uh, a prize or a grade or something that you want that reward for getting it done. And the reality is we're all motivated in both ways. But for you to be a successful student, you have to be motivated to do your very best on your schoolwork. And I know that's not always easy, but it's something that the more you can reflect on and understand, you're going to be successful. Um, so earlier this year, when we came back together in August as a as teachers to do some work to get ready for school, uh, we did some brainstorming about what motivated looks like. And here's what your teachers had to say. Um, engaged, self-starting, on time, being interested in your own improvement, that this work is for you, not for the teacher. You have it all planned out, that you're responsible for your own learning. You ask questions and clarifying questions. You keep a calendar of due dates because you wanna do your best. You show up, you have a desire to get better. You're prepared, you're proactive, you plan ahead, and you work until the task is complete. Those are just a few things that teachers came up with for what it looks like to be motivated as part of the Chelan way. Our next way is being open-minded. I think this is so, so important that you don't get stuck in a little box of thinking that you know everything's is that I heard it is or what I used to think is always gonna be the way. It's that you're you're constantly open to new ideas and new thinking and that you have those little arguments in your head that are so important for making you a, an effective learner. Um, when it comes to being open-minded, we, we talked about that too. And here's some ideas, what teachers identified as ways that it looks like to be open-minded. Asking others what they think with the spirit of curiosity, not judging very important not to judge others just because they might think something differently than you. Uh, being open to new ideas, being anti-racist, being willing to move out of what is comfortable and normal. Again, so important that you're just not sitting here doing only what's comfortable to you, that you're willing to be uncomfortable, willing to listen, then not respond. Able to empathize with those who are different. That empathy piece goes hand in hand with being open-minded and willing to try to understand how others feel. Listen to others. Roll with new concepts, habits. Listening, listening, listening. Sharing, agreeing to disagree. Very important skills. And you know, listening, listening, listening. You know, too quick that all we are is we're just listening to try to respond. You need to listen to try to really understand those who you're listening to. So those are some uh, some ideas of what it might look like to be open-minded. The next way, the R, be respectful. Probably heard this one since grade school. Okay, I know that, but I know it's something we all can get better at. I can get better of always being respectful, even when I'm upset or I don't agree or something isn't going well, or you feel like somebody's treating you wrong. That's tough, but you have to maintain that level of respect. If you're gonna be uh, an effective student, an effective citizen, and do the very, very best you can in your future. 
So when it came to being respectful, here's some ideas that uh, teachers came up with for how that looks. Listening, being anti-racist, okay? not just accepting that, you know, well, I'm not racist, so if others are, not my problem, okay? When you're anti-racist, you are against racism across the board. It's never okay. You're off phones when the teacher or another student is talking. That's respectful, right? That's telling that person that what they're doing is important and that you don't think it's so unimportant that you can just be on your phone. Eye contact and asking questions, being engaged. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. Asking questions again, finding solutions to problems. Do you respect somebody or you respect somebody's property or respecting yourself, which is probably the most important out of all of this, you're going to work to find solutions to problems. You're not just going to say, eh, too bad, so sad, not my problem. Okay, You're going to try to solve those problems that you're having, you know, with either being maybe angry at yourself or angry at a friend or somebody's property is not being treated right. If you respect those things, you're going to work to find those solutions. And you're participating. Okay? When you participate, you show respect by telling the people that are involved in the activity that they are important enough, that the activity is important enough, to what your teacher plan is important enough, that you're going to participate to the very, very best you can. That's the respectful thing to do, even if you don't think it's the perfect activity or agree with everything. That's tough sometimes, but it's uh, what we all got to do to get better. Sorry for the little uh, interjection there. Um, let's move on to our last one, okay? Engaged. What's it mean to be engaged? You've all heard it before. I need you to engage, right? It's not just sitting in class. It's taking part. It's engaging at home with your family having conversations, engaging with your friends in meaningful conversation. And here's what our teachers talked about and uh, thinks that it looks like. Being locked in, you know, eye contact's a big part of being engaged. You can really communicate without words to somebody that you're interested in what's going on. Um, the look in their eyes, right? Eye contact, you know. See a lot of that. That's that's a good way to indicate your engagement. Asking questions that are genuine, really trying to think, what do I want to learn more about this? I wonder. Then ask that question. Okay. Not just being on the receiving end, <clears throat> excuse me, of everything, but really trying to find out more about the learning topic or about what you're talking with friends about or with what the conversation is at home with your family. Uh, following along, nodding, eye contact, okay, all those body language pieces really indicate that you're you're engaged in what's going on. Communicating, like I said, you don't just want to sit there and be on the receiving end of everything, okay? It's communicating with your teachers about what you want to know more about or what your thoughts are. It's communicating with your groups when you work in small groups. Maybe you're in a breakout room, okay? Don't just sit there. Engage, communicate both verbally, in writing, and with your body language. And it's mindful learning, um, really thinking about what you're thinking about. Okay? Some call that metacognition. It's just, wow, I wonder why I think that. It almost gets back to when we talked about open-mindedness. you got to really think about some different ideas and have little arguments with yourself about what, what you're feeling, what you're thinking, what you're agreeing with, what you're not agreeing with. And that's not to, to get to the right or wrong answer. It's to be a learner, to challenge yourself and think about your thinking, okay? To have that mindful learning. So that covers engaged. So getting back to the big picture, the Chelan way, something I want you to all aspire to be more this year, okay? Be motivated, be open-minded, be respectful, be engaged. This is for your classes to help you be a better student. It's also just great habits to develop overall for lifelong skills. It's to help you be a critical thinker, okay? To be a value part of teams that you're on, in your career, in your classes, everything you do. So um, we talked about, you know, what teachers think each of these look like. 
Okay, we had the chance to do that in August. You weren't here in August, but your voice is very, very important. So as we could continue to develop the Chelan way and descriptors of how these look um, or what they mean, I really want to hear from some of you. So the challenge is email at least one person on the list below here what the Chelan way, one of the Chelan ways mean to you. You could say what each one means to you. That's fine. Go above and beyond. I really want to challenge you to pick out a person on there and email what at least one of the Chelan ways mean to you. Email me. Again, I'm your principal, Mr. Wilson. Uh, you can email our associate principal, Mr. Granger. Yeah, we let him come back for year two. That's right. Uh, in year one is our new athletic director, Mr. Payne. He loves talking about uh, culture and climate and what we should aspire to be. You can email him. You can email Mrs. Finch. She's our ASB advisor. She leads the charge in our student-driven uh, actions to improve our climate and culture and school spirit. So pick whoever you feel the most comfortable with emailing. Just to shoot him a quick one. Hey, Mr. Wilson, I think being motivated looks like, you know, being ready to go when class starts or thinking of how this is going to help me in life. Anything. No right or wrong answers. Just would really love to hear from some of you. Would really love if you spend a little bit of your time thinking about this. Remember, the Chelan way means to be more. All right. Uh, really appreciate your uh, taking time to listen and hope to hear from each and every one of you to one of these people. Thank you.